the big story on Action News tonight is the intensifying scrutiny on the University of Pennsylvania and the ever louder calls now for that Ivy Institution's leader to step down. Two days after her testimony on Capitol Hill about anti-Semitic acts on campus, Penn President Liz McGill is facing increasing pressure to resign. Today, the university's board held a hastily arranged meeting. And just hours ago, a House committee launched an investigation. All of this stems from McGill's widely criticized response to the acts unfolding on that storied campus and her testimony about it, which the governor called shameful. Action News reporter Annie McCormick live there in University City tonight. Annie, the governor is scheduled to be back on that campus tonight. Yeah, and Brian, he actually just left following a Hanukkah event that occurred here on Penn's campus. Like you said, he called the president's comments shameful and urged the board, urged the board of trustees to meet to discuss her future. Well, a spokesperson for Penn did confirm that a meeting did happen, but would not confirm what exactly was discussed. I feel supported by Penn Hillel and the amazing people there. I do not feel supported by the university administration. Penn students gathered outside of Penn President Liz McGill's office calling for her ouster in response to this testimony before Congress Tuesday. Calling for the genocide of Jews is depending upon the context. That is not bullying or harassment. This is the easiest question to answer yes, Ms. McGill. If the speech becomes conduct, it can be harassment. McGill was joined by the presidents of Harvard and MIT at the congressional hearing. Today, the House Education and the Workforce Committee announced a formal investigation into the three leading educational institutions. McGill released this video late last night, walking back her comments. In that moment, she says she was focused on the school's policy, which aligns with the Constitution, stating speech alone is not punishable. I want to be clear. A call for genocide of Jewish people is threatening. It is intentionally meant to terrify a people who have been subjected to pogroms and hatred for centuries and were the victims of mass genocide in the Holocaust. In my view, it would be harassment or intimidation. Governor Josh Shapiro also blasted McGill's comments, and today he was on Penn's campus for a menorah lighting at the Hillel House. Tonight is the first night of Hanukkah. This is a moment where leaders need to speak and act with moral clarity. President McGill failed that test when she was under oath in front of Congress. And Brian, two Penn students have filed a lawsuit against the university saying that they have had an insufficient response to anti-Semitism on the campus. For now, reporting live in University City, Annie McCormick, Channel 6, Action News. Brian. Yeah, the pressure just keeps growing more intense. Annie, thank you.